We've covered the Algonquin 50K since its inception four years ago. And while we've always focused our attention on the runners, this year we decided to show you the folks behind the scenes that make it all happen. This race has become so popular that the first challenge is to find parking. And volunteers like Bob Bryant are on hand early to help out. Yes, my duty right now is to park an unlimited number of vehicles and runners. After that, I'm on cooking detail for the next eight hours. There are around 270 runners competing in this 32-mile ultramarathon run through the Pocomoke State Forest. So the pavilion at Milburn Landing is hopping. And there are even more volunteers handing out breakfast and helping with last minute check-ins. Has everybody checked in yet? I, not everyone. We always have a few stragglers. I think we've got about 270 checked in so far. So most of them. If they haven't checked in by now, it's going to be a hustle. And their efforts do not go unnoticed. Barbara, what do you guys think about these volunteers that are helping today? Well, they're Fantastic. Epic. epic. They keep us going, they feed us, they take care of us, and meet all of our needs. We couldn't do it without them. Without the volunteers, we wouldn't have this race. Right. The volunteers are freaking amazing. We couldn't do this without them. They are the reason that we have this race, and I love them all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If this is your first time in the rodeo, don't worry, it's not our first time. So get over here. We got you covered. <laughs> With just minutes to go before the 7.30 start time, the runners are getting pumped. Are you psyched? I've been ready. <laughs> I've been ready all night. Any goals this year? Um, well, I want to finish. Um, I did it in 7 hours 39 minutes last year, so I want to get closer to 7 hours. So, yeah. But I, but if I don't, as long as I finish. There you are. Five, four, three, two, one. And they're off. And volunteers are in their own race to help man the many aid stations along the route. I think we're pretty set up. Check out all the soda we got. We got a speaker. We're going to be jamming some music. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty, pretty hype aid station. It's going to be a good day. Way to go, man. A lot of these runners will be on the course for about six to eight hours, and that burns a lot of calories. Two. Thank you. Okay, what else? What else do you need? We got the bacon. We got the quesadillas. What is it with bacon in these runs here, man? Oh, man, man salty and fat and protein. It's everything, all in one little strip. <laughs> and it's handheld. Real runners eat bacon on trail runs. That's what we do. <laughs> Get some. That shot. <laughs> we got quesadillas and bacon also. I'm good, thank you. It seems to us that some of these folks helping out today are running a marathon of their own. Water. Water. But in short, intense bursts. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, never mind. So right. this is Quesadilla, gold. Bacon. Mm. Meanwhile, back at Milburn Landing, they're getting ready for the first finishers. Yeah, we're about an hour away, so we want to get everything warmed up, uh, ready to go. After the first few runners come in, then you begin to get the, the hordes of runners, and uh, they all come to us. They all want something to eat. They all want something to drink. Um, they're pretty hungry after running, you know, 32 miles or 50 kilometers. Food-wise, we're doing tacos this year, which I believe is a first for the uh, Algonquin 50K. We've got the potato soup, which everybody loves, the potato soup. Um, Smith Island cake, they set up a pretty nice spread. Three of these will go on here. And let's not forget the beer. Tapping the beer is quite an important thing. Well, back in you know college days, you had the you know the manual pump. You didn't have all this air bottle stuff and everything else. So yeah, my beer tapping days were you know about 30 years ago. So <laughs> okay, Boomer. Let's see the first runner coming in right now. The first runner is in sight, and soon this place will be packed. 